Let's start by representing the given information on the Cartesian plane. We are given the line y is equal to mx plus c. Let's assume that it cuts the x-axis at the point L. And let's assume that it makes an angle theta with the positive direction of the x-axis. Therefore, the gradient of this line is equal to tan theta, which is equal to m from the equation of the line. Now, we are given the point x dash y dash, let's denote it by p. And from p, it is possible to draw a line that cuts the line ll dash and makes an angle alpha with it. Let's assume that this line cuts the given line LL dash at the point M and cuts the X axis at the point R and that it makes an angle phi with the positive direction of the X axis. From the same point P, it is possible to draw another line that makes an angle alpha with the given line LL dash. Let's assume that this line cuts the given line at the point N and the x-axis at the point S. And let's assume that this line makes an angle phi dash with the positive direction of the x-axis. Therefore, the required lines are PR and PS. The gradient of the line PR is equal to tan phi. And since this line passes through the point P with coordinates x dash, y dash, therefore the equation of the line PR is y minus y dash upon x minus x dash is equal to tan phi. Similarly, the gradient of the line PS is equal to tan phi dash since this line passes through the point P with coordinates x dash y dash the equation of the line PS is y minus y dash upon x minus x dash is equal to tan phi dash now note that angle LMR is equal to alpha also note that angle MNS is equal to 180 minus alpha. Therefore, from triangle LMR, angle phi is equal to theta plus alpha. And from triangle LNS, Angle phi dash is equal to theta plus 180 minus alpha. Taking the tangent of the first of these equations, we get tan phi is equal to tan theta plus alpha, which is equal to tan theta plus tan alpha upon 1 minus tan theta tan alpha. Now tan theta is equal to m and therefore tan phi is equal to m plus tan alpha upon 1 minus m times tan alpha. Taking the tangent of the second equation above, we get tan phi dash is equal to tan of 180 degrees plus theta minus alpha and this is equal to tan of theta minus alpha because tan is positive in the third quadrant. Therefore, tan phi dash is equal to tan theta minus tan alpha divided by 1 plus tan theta times tan alpha. Now, tan theta is equal to m. Therefore, tan phi dash is equal to m minus tan alpha upon 1 plus m times tan alpha. Using these results, the equation of PR is 
y minus y dash upon x minus x dash is equal to tan phi which is equal to m plus tan alpha upon 1 minus m times tan alpha. This can be written as y minus y dash is equal to m plus tan alpha upon 1 minus m times tan alpha multiplied by x minus x dash. Similarly, the equation of Ps is y minus y dash upon x minus x dash is equal to tan phi dash which is equal to m minus tan alpha upon 1 plus m tan alpha as determined above. And this can be written as y minus y dash is equal to m minus tan alpha upon 1 plus m times tan alpha multiplied by x minus x dash.